I'm Marge and you're at Highland Hill Farm. I'm going to give you a short demonstration of how we do our measurement for placement of a green giant arborvita hedge. We're going to pretend that this is the section that you're going to put your plants at. The green giant arborvita typically grows six to eight feet wide. So that you don't have encroachment, we will calculate about four feet from the edge of where you want to start. So I use my tape measure. I pull it out to four feet and I like to lock it on the four foot place. This is my four foot tape measure. I lock it in place so it doesn't slip on me when I'm working. I start here. I judge down a little bit because I need to be four feet off of this edge and I also need to be four feet off of this edge. So I'm just going to rough guess down this way and then I'll check. That's four feet off of the edge. I'm using a screwdriver because it's easy to move around. And I pick up my four feet. And as you can see, I was way off. So now I just move it back up. And the old adage, measure twice. Okay, four feet there. Four feet there, I'm good to go. Now I take my string. I want my line to be along this driveway. It looks like a huge distance off the driveway, but the green giant will be six to eight feet wide. And you don't want encroachment. So you need to give the plant, even if you're starting with small ones, you need to give the plant room to grow. You could do this section or you could do much larger, doesn't matter. Okay, I'm at the end of the line where I want to make my tree line. So again, I put my yard, my ruler down. I measure four feet off the line. Here's my four foot line. Take my string. Now, I wrap it around and I come in here again, right at four feet. Got my string tight so I have a somewhat taut line. Now I have a straight line for my trees. Now we'll walk back up to the other side because that's the more important side for my spacing. This side I can make a few adjustments to. This will be my starting point. This will be tree number one. I put my yards, my measurement down. The spacing is a five foot center, five to six foot. We often do them on five foot because I'm tired of waiting for a hedge. So this is five feet apart. Again, I lock it in place. I put my marker down. This time I'm just using pieces of string. I use string or stick. It'd be nice if I had a whole lot of, of uh, screwdrivers. I could mark it upright. I don't. This way, if you make a mistake or you need to make a change, you can. it's very maneuverable. Again, I set it down, I do my five feet, and I put down my marker. And I will continue all the way down my line, every five feet with my marker. Now I have my entire line in place. I stand here and take a look. Is this how I want it? If not, I can adjust my strings one way or the other. I can move it closer to the driveway or move it back. I'm actually happy with this. It's on a five foot spacing, has enough room on both sides of my line. Now I take my spray can. The hardest part of this whole operation, as you didn't see, I couldn't get the lid off the spray can. I put just a little dot of spray on the ground so I can see where I pick up, when I pick up my string, the dots will be right there and that's where I dig and place my trees. Now that the area is marked, we pick up all the strings and the loose little pieces that would be in the way and we are able to plant our trees.